Hey everybody, I'm Darren. This is my channel. When I thought of this title, Extreme Makeover, I wasn't necessarily talking about a TV show by that name, but I was talking about TV in general. Um, you know, it seems to me that with all the reality shows that have come out in the last 10 years, they certainly aren't just extreme in nature, but more extreme than ever before. And, you know, it's almost like we're rewarding bad behavior with celebrity. Now, I want to try to keep this short, this, this video, because I can really get out there on this subject. But I know this, since the mid-80s, and I'm old enough to, to, to be, I was 25 in 1985, um, a lot has changed in our songs, our movies, our TV shows. Uh, then we had the advance of the internet later on. Uh, and what I mean is, is that we had extreme and, and sometimes negative changes in these things. Magazines are another example. And, and what I mean by that is, is that, you know, it almost seems like we're rewarding uh, people to, to shock us, rewarding people to, to become more and more extreme in, in their songs, the, sometimes the nastiness or, or, or the movies with the, the, the explosions, the excitement, the loveless sex, the, the it's okay to you know, smoke pot, it's okay to drink at some level, you know. Um, in other words, we're making almost like fame and, 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 and fortune uh, okay as, as maybe even goals in life and we're forgetting about academics, we're forgetting about family. So in other words, we're forgetting about the things that used to, we used to take pride in. What I wrote in my book about that was is that it seems like the standards to be a better person than we were before uh, have been lowered. And the standards to, to be something we're not, someone special, has been raised. And that's unfortunate because I think that we do then take less pride in our academics and in, in who we are in other areas of our lives. And I think that even though the minority of people, both young and old, act out in extreme ways due to, I, I believe, the, the TV shows, the music they hear, uh, and sometimes the video games, uh, the, the internet that we can see both good and, quote, bad things on, uh, extreme things, you know, on YouTube and so forth, um, I, I do believe it affects people and changes them. When I said minority, majority, those, those two words, what I mean is, is I still believe that that the, I believe the minority is ruling and the majority is not heard. Okay? So, you know, just because a show is a TV hit, a TV sensation, doesn't mean that the majority of people watch it. It just means that they have a higher rating of the, uh, than other shows because more people watch that show. And, and I am making this a longer video than intended. What I'm getting at is, is when did we start making it okay to be sarcastic to others? to say crazy things, to, to just make jokes about sex and, and drinking and drugging. What, when did this happen? Well, it started in the mid-80s. And as I said in our songs, our movies, obviously the TV shows, um, and, and with the advance of the Internet, and, and, and then our, our media, our news media. My gosh, just the, the fear alone out there that they, they seem to bombard us with. I mean, there's a lot coming at us today. I'll end with this. There's a lot coming at us today. It's more extreme today than ever before. The whole idea of addiction or, or, or becoming obsessed with something is our minds keep wanting more. We want more. It's not just a physical thing. So if we want more of something and, and we get shocked some ways in, in, in TV and so forth, then, then we no longer are shocked at certain things. So guess what? The makers of these shows and so forth, they have to be even more extreme. I hope I made that clear. Um, and, and I can understand why people want this both young and old. Some people, the minority. But I do believe that the majority, me, most of you people listening to this, the people I've talked to, thousands of people I've talked to since I started writing my book, since I finished my book, and over the past year, keep shaking their heads that, yeah, something's changed. I'm not saying it's horrible. You know, for the most part, it seems like a lot of things aren't statistically higher, violence, drug use, so forth, as it was even 20, 25 years ago. But there is more people in the world, more people in this country, so, so those, the figures could be uh, not proper. But my point is, is that there still is a high drug use, a high drinking uh, abuse out there. There is uh, obviously higher acts of violence, domestic violence. And the whole financial you know, thing aside is, is why? Because we're being bombarded with extremes today. And I don't think we're capable of handling them. We're, we're book smart. But when we get out of school, it seems like we don't know how to cope in life. And because of that, a lot of people are turned to other things. It doesn't have to be just drugs and alcohol, eating and, and other obsessive behavior. Process addictions come to mind, which is sex and gambling, things like that. Um, this is becoming a long video, but you can see my passion. But one thing I believe for sure is that the extreme makeover that's happened, especially in our country, 
need to end. And I don't know how it's going to. I don't. Because a lot of people are still uh, consuming so much that comes at them. they got to have more, 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 more extremes, more shock, more of everything. Because they're told, this is, this is going to make you, you better. This is going to make you important. When deep down, what really makes us important is, is of course, love for ourselves. But how do we even get to that when we're not being who, who we are? Now, who we are, I'll save for another video, but wouldn't it be nice if, if there is something to explain this life after we die uh, that I personally pray to in the shower? A creator that gave us the ability to be happy without all those extremes. That'd be great, wouldn't it? I think this is enough for this video. I think you get my message, and um, thank you. Keep coming back to my channel. Bye.